Hello all you lovely people out there. I am Limitless wholeheartedly welcome you to another coffee tasting episode. I hope all of you are doing well in your life and tasting some real nice coffee on a daily basis. And today's episode is about a really nice sweet fruity coffee that I enjoyed almost a year ago. And I must say guys that when I opened this one around nearby Surinsar Lake, I was so impressed by the flavor notes that I got on this one. And I was like, man, it is a really good coffee. I should have done a coffee tasting episode on this one. And at that time I didn't do it. But around almost a few days ago, I once again came across this coffee on internet. And I was like, maybe I should do a coffee tasting episode on this one. And this one is Nilgiri from Dope Coffee Roasters. Now, I must say guys, talking about Dope Coffee Roasters, their packaging is so good because what they do is on each package they put some really nice artwork done by some real artists and that is a really good thing i mean just look at this art it's so beautiful and talking about the coffee it is single origin light medium roast 100 percent arabica and the description is really beautiful i must say that if your coffee plantation is right next to a leopard century things are definitely going to get wild. Coming from way down Nilgiri, also known as Blue Mountains, coffee is one of Tamil Nadu's finest beans, grown alongside the combo of sugarcane, orange and eucalyptus. This one's got flavors that are modern and distinct. I must say guys, that is a really nice poetic manner of telling that this coffee is really good. And I think it is good because in Nilgiri mountains, the soil is really fertile, rich. So without any more delay, let's make a nice cup of pour over and taste this one. Let's do it. So finally, we have a nice cup of pour over straight out of this Nilgiri from Dope Coffee Roasters. Now I must say, I'm looking forward to, you know, get the aromas out of this, get some nice flavor notes out of this coffee because I know it has a lot of flavors packed in it. Let's begin with the aroma. Wow, you know, it's a soft scent of, you know, as if something is being baked up in a bakery early in the morning because, you know, there's a bakery here not a bakery, I would say a traditional kind of uh, place where traditional Kashmiri breads are being baked which is known by the name of Kandra. If you come to Jammu and Kashmir, you'll find a lot of those guys here. You know, they bake traditional breads, traditional flat breads and uh, that kind of aroma I'm getting in this coffee at the very first hint. You know, it was a very prominent and just reminded me of that place. So. Yes, very similar flavor, no, you know, aroma I'm getting out of it and it's it's very soothing to the head and uh, some kind of sweetness is out there in the aroma, you know. Really soft, mellow, not like those hard punchy notes that you get from other coffees. It's really nice and mellow in that aroma section. Soft and uh, now it's time to taste the coffee because at the end of the day, it's not just aromas that you take in, it's the coffee that you drink. Mm. Sorry, I have sensitive tooth. Wow. You know, it has that not only just aroma, but it also has that kind of flavor as if you are tasting a sweet bun. I don't know why I'm getting that kind of flavor and uh, along with that some kind of musty woody flavor mixed in it you know as if you are walking in some sort of hill station during monsoon period as far as I can go with my memory it reminds me of the monsoons in Patni Top because I have spent a lot of time in Patni Top during my childhood in monsoon so that kind of aroma I'm getting out of this coffee straight at the aroma as well as the tasting note at the very first one. Now that's a great thing because in the first sip you don't get a lot of flavors. But in this one, I'm getting a whole lot of bunch of flavors. Mm. 
ओके सो आई डोंट नो वाई इट्स नॉट गोइंग दैट मच प्रोमिनेंट बिकॉज यू नो perhaps the previous one the papa kuchi was so prominent with lot of flavors happening this one is not that prominent i would say i'll be honest with you guys lot of lot of flavors are happening in this one but one thing is for sure that the flavors that i'm getting are sweet in a way i can say perhaps i might get one or two flavors once it's cooled down so let's cool it down Okay. Taste good. Okay. Finally, I'm getting something out of it. Some sort of if you talk about acidity, it's very less. There's almost negligible none in the section of bitterness. but the sweetness is so good that you are getting sort of that you know jaggery kind of flavor and along with that some kind of dry fruity flavors so in that section i can't pinpoint certain one which dry fruit but as if you are having a blend of dry fruits in your palate so hmm and yeah a slight note of uh, if little note of banana at the end of your palate you know once the coffee has subsided subsided and the last remaining flavor notes that you're getting on the palate it's coffee that you're getting at the end so it's a very mellow coffee that you can enjoy while you're having your early morning breakfast if you want some coffee in your breakfast so i think this is a nice coffee because you don't want some sort of coffee which just punches you on the palate and gives you a very hard rush in the morning and you're like i'm ready to kill the day because i don't believe that kind of coffee is good in the morning so if you're someone who wants a coffee which is sweet and mellow which is really nice on your palate doesn't gives you that kick of bitterness or acidity this coffee is for you guys i mean this is a coffee with which someone who is beginner into coffee tasting or wants to enjoy different varieties of coffee should go for this one which is nilgiri from dope coffee roasters and i think the wetness or the moisture of that fertile soil of nilgiri comes into this coffee and reflects on your palate as well so it's really good it gets the hang on your palate and i think it, this is also going to be really suiting well with some nice mellow reading or some nice work you are doing at your home in your cozy bed you're sitting and just reading a nice book it is going to be a good coffee so acidity is not there not that much sweetness is really good it's a really soft on your palate doesn't kicks in immediately remains there leaves with a nice fruity note of banana and the beginning in the very beginning that sweet bun flavor is so nice so mellow and sweet is the basic gist of this coffee that i can give you so if you want to buy this one the link is down in the description and i would like to say that uh, i just want to go more serious with this coffee tasting business i just want to taste more coffees give me some recommendations in the comment section and along with that i would like to say that uh, i'm thinking of starting a patreon community if you have any thoughts on that do tell me in the comment sections if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit the like button hit the subscribe button as well i'll see you in the next video till then stay caffeinated